Hi guys, so today I'm coming to you with a video sponsored by Tonic Studios it is for their new showcase. Look how sweet this is. It's called uh, So Happy. Um, these items were sent free of charge for my review and of course all opinions are my own. And any links down in the description box will be affiliate links to make them like a small commission if you purchase items through those links. So with the showcase, sometimes it's different size sets, um, different things included. Uh, this is um, this one. As you can see, there's a stamp set on an A5 carrier and the die set here. And this one, again, very much sewing related. So let's look at the stamps first. So we have some really sweet borders here. Let me get this in here. I'm trying to get it in a way that's not too glaring there. Okay, so we have a little stitch. It's kind of like a little bit fun with a zipper. I love this measuring tape because that's like one of my favorite kinds of um, ephemera or like those kind of things. So it's really fun to have that as a stamp. We have cute as a, we have button, you are, I love you to catch up on mine, tailor made just for you. That is really cute to have as a crafter. Thanks, so happy we're friends beyond measure so much. I'm gonna bring this out. So let's all of this. <clears throat> um, let's see. A little hat. How sweet is that? The scissors. <laughs> a little clothespin. A spool of thread there. Um, the pretty little shoes. Some buttons. I like a gift bag. It's like a little button hanger. A little pin cushion. <laughs> so sweet. And of course that beautiful dress there with a little uh, bow. And then another like more classic type of um, ribbon spool. Or ribbon. Um, thread spool. <laughs> There it is. How cute. And then the dies. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can. I know there's still some plastic behind, so there's still going to be some glare. But look at this. I love these little classic scissors. So we have the scissor itself and then like a blackout or a shadow, however you want to use it in the background. We have the little um, dress form that also has an inlay. So you can do the dress form plus an inlay or however you want to use that too. The little thimble. Um, I think, well, obviously this makes a button. I don't know if that's like a background for the button or just another type of button. Maybe it's, I don't know. <laughs> but there's a little circular, um, die there. Uh, we look at this. It's like a little ribbon or thread, however you want to use it in the background there. Um, this little kind of decorative piece. Not 100% sure what that is. It looks kind of like a, um, like a clothespin, but it doesn't really have that top part. So we'll see. Maybe you pair it up. I don't know. Because we have this piece too. Hmm. Uh, we have this piece here that's like a zipper. <laughs> it looks like a zip and opening. And actually, yes, on the back here you can have some idea of what that might look like. Some of the other pieces. Look at this one. This card, they just use a lot of the sweet little kind of uh, die cuts there. Um, on the back here we have like a larger button with an inlay. So it has the outer circle inlay. Look at this edge. Oh my gosh. Let me measure this. That. I did not see. <laughs> Let's see. Um, that's like just over seven inches long. So that's a really nice uh, border edge there. So it cuts that edge. You can layer it up. Do some fun things like that. We have our safety pin here. So the it, the pin itself, and then we have like a background, little decorative buttons, some little kind of like maybe little stitchings. Or a needle. How cute is that? This um, cuts, you know, some of the items that we have over here, like the dress and the hat and the bow. A little button. We have the zipper pull. Um, looks like maybe a ball of yarn or something like that. I mean, that's what it looks like to me, but um, however you want to use that. And then we have the cute little sewing machine. So it's like a little antique sewing machine looking like my little Singer sewing machines that I have a couple of. Um, so we have that with the beautiful, like, design on it and then the background for it. I think I talked about everything on here. So what I'm going to do is grab some papers and we'll try it out. Okay guys, so to get started I have like a little A2 size card base. I just cut down some of this paper. It looks kind of like wallpaper or something old school like that. I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down. I cut it to 4 and an eighth by 5 and 3 eighths, but of course if you don't like eighths you can do 4 by 5 and a quarter or whatever it is that you like. Some people like to mat the whole card up. So for a standard A2 size card that would be 4 and a quarter by five and a half. Ooh, let's get this on here. <laughs> okay. This is kind of thin layering weight paper, so it wanted to do whatever it wanted to do. All right. Do that. And I grabbed some colors. So I think what I'm going to do, you know, the Singer sewing machines, those kind of things are very classic and black and they have like silver components and maybe a little red pop of something, you know, here. Um, so what I'm going to do is take this guy 
And since the, the card is kind of soft, I don't want to do the background black. Actually, here when they made theirs, where is it? This example, they put like a vellum in the background, so it still has a backer, but it's like see through. I don't know if you can see that. At least that's what it looks like. <laughs> so, very cute. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out of some black paper and then I'm going to drop shadow some silver. So, I will also cut this out from some silver paper. Oh, I think I can get right on there. Maybe this other way. There we go. I saw that there's a cut there. So I'll cut it from both of these papers. And then the background I'm going to cut from this very kind of peachy pink. I know it's hard to tell. It looks almost like a cream color, but it has kind of a pink tone to it. I'm going to cut this out, okay? And I'll be, excuse me, right back. Oh, guys, look how beautifully these come out. So I'm just going to clean these out. And, um, and I'll be right back. I just want to show you just pops out so clean. Okay, so we have our pieces here. And basically we're going to lay this on one on top of the other just to have a little drop shot a little silver kind of coming through there and we'll work on that and then we have this guy that will put this on so we'll decide how we want to do that and then um you know it has like a little doily underneath it but what i was thinking is to make it look like a little table or like it's sitting on something we can use a piece of paper and this guy so um what i did here let me put this guy back is I cut a piece of paper I think it's one and a half inches by five and three eighths so it's the exact same width as this and it's kind of like a coral piece of paper and this guy will cut the edge but don't cut this back edge so what I'm gonna do is just put it like on here just so it trims off it looks like a little table maybe a tablecloth or something but just to cut off that bottom part try to apply it as straight as I can and we'll tape that down as not to move and I'll run this through and then uh, we'll start putting it together and add uh, you know, our sentiment and some other little things. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, sweet. So let me think about just about where I want to put that depending on how big this is. Make some more in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and layer these guys up. And what I'm going to do here is just put glue all over the back of this. And then again with drop shadow, you know, you can drop shadow straight down to the left, to the right, up a little bit, however it is that you like your drop shadow to look for your particular project. And so for this one, I'm just putting glue here and there. Yeah, I'm gonna just put it down a little bit. It's down a little bit. I think that's it. I don't think I'm gonna go left or right. Just a little something like that. So if you see that silver hanging out. And while I'm patting that down, I might as well go ahead and put that down on my paper. And sometimes I'll put glue on the back of my hand today. I'm just kind of rolling it on here. Get that going. So I'll put glue all over this and then I'll place it on the background so here. I just think I'm going to do something like this. I'll have that there. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down because I think I'm going to put my sentiment right on there. So of course you can stamp it first and then place it, but I think I'm going to place this and then stamp the sentiment right on this little guy. I'll have this guy here. And I'm so happy we're friends, and I am going to bring a stamp positioner just to make sure I get it stamped correctly, so I'll be right back to a for a moment. I think I want to do so happy. And we're friends. Oh, and you know what? I think I overlooked this little label. How cute is that? A little frame. And then if this guy was here, popped up a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And of course, you know me, I'm just eyeballing this, but um, you could always use your grid lines to help you. And they don't have to be stamped at the same time either. I just am doing that. Okay, that one looks pretty straight. This one needs to come down just a tad right here to be a little straighter. 
Okay. And these are photopolymer stamps, so they smell amazing, but they are also a little bit sticky when you first use them until you break them in. So when I lift it up, that's why I lifted the card with it, because that's just what they do. Looks lovely. I'm going to give that a second to dry because I did use VersaFine ink and it is a slow drying ink. So I'll clean up and I'll be right back. Oh God, I'm waiting for that. Uh, I just cleaned up and on the back I want to stamp the Taylor Made Just For You. Why not? So I have Taylor Made Just For You. And this is a textured cardstock so. It might take it in a funny way, but I'm just going to put that on the back. And I normally would use my stamping tool also, but I'm just going for it. And look at that. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our card. And as I was, that was drying, I took a moment to cut out from that same silver paper I used underneath to cut one of the little... Um, uh, needles here and oh my gosh <laughs> the string I didn't want uh, the colors to be too clashing with whatever we have going on so I grabbed this little guy too and I think that's really sweet so I'm gonna think about how I want to position this or where I want to put this just to add a little something else and I will be right back okay I think I'm gonna put this on here as like just a little background something of course the needle is not that big, but you know, <laughs> it's just cute. Um, and I just kind of added it to the very edge of this, and as you can see I just put this inside the little hole there, and it'll just kind of be in the background, and then we'll pop up our little sewing machine on top. Super sweet. I love all the like little thimble and all those fun things that are in there. Super adorable. Little safety pin. Cute. So I'm just going to add this in here somewhere. Oopsie. Let's bring this guy back so we remember where we're putting him. Yeah, like in there. Just a little something. Cute. I'm going to put some dimensional adhesives on this and I'll be right back. Just put some dimensionals, took the carriers off, and we're just going to place this little guy in here. Adorable. Ball in that. And there it is. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you so much, Tonic, for sponsoring this video, for sending these items for review. I'll have some images coming up for you. I'll have the links in the description box. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Oh, so cute. Bye now.